Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Career Mode Here today for part 7 for the Belgium Grand Prix For what is our second sprint weekend of the season So let's get into it So coming out into qualifying And there was rain on the way So it was important to get laps in quick And we crossed the line to finish our first one That puts us into P8 But with found a lot of time on the second one, you can see there just under a tenth but we've gone purple in the first sector as the rain is starting to fall we cross the line and that's got us up then into P8, back up into P8 as we lock up not the first corner but somehow it was still dry but it was way way too wet for the drives at the end of the session and we missed time to anyway so let's go to the Belgium Spring shaping up to be another fantastic weekend off the back of a fantastic qualifying session it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row looking at the rest of today's grid we have Perez, Russell, Hamilton, Verstappen, Norris, Brown, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Stroll, Ocon, Albert, Oscar Piastri, Sonoda, Bottas, Joe, Magnussen, Fittipaldi, Hulkenberg, De Vries, Hulkenberg. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. So we're here on the grid then for the sprint. We're going to be doing softs all the way, though the mediums seem to last a little bit longer. But it's the most pointless eight laps of Spa. Hopefully we can go forward a little bit if possible. But we have got much quicker cars around us. So here we go then. It's a sprint. It's a Ferrari front row lockout. And we're racing for the sprint and we've got an okay start but we're going to go to the inside for about it on the inside of Mercedes but he chops us off there Hamilton and we get a little bit of contact as the two Mercedes are going side by side down towards her Rouge we're side by side with the Red Bull we've backed out of it and that's Hamilton and Max Verstappen going mail to mail through Oh, three. Oh, three now we head down towards the chicane we're sending it late up the inside we've made a big mistake Matt has gone through our head of Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes George has disappeared and also Lewis again some place, lost some places as well Lando and Alonso getting ahead of him but as we come on towards the end of the first lap we break a bit early, Lando sees a chance to try and go around the outside to give himself the inside and the best option again and we fend that one off for now but Fernando Alonso would overtake Lando Norris and now Fernando is all over the back of us we don't need to worry about Max, he is long gone up the road in this spring race until lap 5 we were just keeping those behind just a gap in distance but we've gone wide there and put on and Alonso had a little look at the inside but we chopped him off that could have been a bit of an after crash through that little section there which we've always struggled with we go wide now as we go towards Blanchimon side by side with Fernando Alonso through Blanchimon as we head towards the bus of chicane with Bush and um, Alonso wide and Lando has got back through on Fernando Alonso now one lap later here comes Lando up the inside of the bus up chicane and Lando gets the job done caught me out a bit there but we've got a great exit out of the bus up chicane as we head towards Lasso as we swap Lando the dummy go back down the inside 
and we keep the position both gone wide out to the sort of some Orlando now possibly have a look at this as we go down through our rouge over the top and ready on and now as we head down the camera straight here comes Lando he's on the outside Lando thought about it we shut the door and now he's just a little bit too far back to do anything about that one good for us though as we go on to the final lap now, a bit of a not very dramatic sprint as Alonso sends it late on Lando up the inside that looks to have caught Lando out a little bit there and Alonso is through Hamilton really hasn't made an impression on getting past these two even though he has quite literally the quick car here comes Lando though on the back of Alonso He's getting closer and closer and closer and he's going to go to the outside around the outside of the chicane and gives him the inside line we've locked up a little bit but Alonso keeps the place and stays ahead of Lando Norris and for now but as we skip on to the end Charles Leclerc is going to round the final corner and he is going to win the Belgium sprint ahead of Sainz and Perez and we are going to come home to gain one position and start P7. It's the Belgian Grand Prix, the site of the maiden victory of the Jordan team in 1998. The venue that Michael Schumacher made his debut in Formula One. There is so much history here amongst the beautiful nature. 19 corners, 4.3 miles or 7 kilometers. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here with long stretches of the lap spent flat out. Look out for the bus stop chicane. The final challenge for the temporary relief of the start finish straight. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Russell, Brown, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Bottas, Magnussen, Fittipaldi, Joe, Hulkenberg, Albert, Stroll, Sargent, De Vries, Sargent. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Why don't we kick off by discussing Max Verstappen? And we welcome Anthony Davidson to the commentary box once again. And this driver had a great win last time out. Can they carry that momentum into this one? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. But I think Anthony Davidson there was watching the wrong British Grand Prix as Max Verstappen did not win, it was of course Lewis Hamilton. Max won the real Grand Prix, and we've just had the British Grand Prix at the time of recording. But we're going to start on the soft go to mediums, and it's lights out, and away we go for the race. And we've got a good start. We're going to go to the inside of side contact as Alonso. We get pinched in the middle between the Mercedes and Fernando Alonso and now we've kept through the middle of both of them and them two are going to go wheel to wheel through a rouge and the Mercedes gains the place of George Russell just the road is Max Verstappen we can touch him in the sprint and I doubt we'll be able to touch him in the race up the inside goes George we shut the door on him and look it's Lando again round the outside Lando went on George and it's through and behind us now now we skip on to lap 4 we were just keeping them a jabbing distance similar to the sprint to be honest it could have just carried on but here comes George on the back of Lando now as we head down the camel straight We've gained a little gap and now he's going to go to the inside is he? 
into the chicane is too far back is George Russell as he has to stay there for now as we've run a little bit wide through that chicane bit we run wide again and now Lando is right on the back of us as we head up towards Blanchimont then Lando is going to go to the outside but we've shut the door on him and now George has seen a chance to go side by side it's a three way battle between the between the Brits and George has overtaken Lando there and it's been as hard as it was but now Lando has dropped back massively after Alonso overtook him and now we are battling George Russell very hard we went a bit wide there George and free we've gone wide though and that really really long left hander through no name George can get the job done and now this is Gasly Gasly retiring from the race that Renault engine in the back of the Alpine has gone once again and I think that's the second time this season because Ocon's popped all the way back in Bahrain and George again too far back to have a go at us but just keeping him at jabbing distance but now Alonso and that behind have caught us up and now this is George side by side of a three plunge him on we force him wide Alonso tried to get his nose in there as we go back three blanche one and copy and paste onto lap eight and now George on the outside we're on the inside George is going to keep his foot in all the way around the outside of blanche on but we shut the door on him and stay ahead and this is turning into a really strong p5 for us as we go on to lap nine then and this is Leclerc who was boxed from the lead I believe of the Grand Prix um, but after his win in the sprint he's always done well in Spa as Charles Leclerc got his first win here of course in real life and now we're just hovering a little bit and we're going to send it late because Charles Leclerc has a big lock up I didn't really want to do that but Beans has his locked up I'll take the position but Leclerc for the sake of his race really needs to overtake me but now as he tries to get round her outside George tries to go up the inside of Buon round the outside Leclerc we are hurting his race now but he's got us there as we run a bit wide we're still side by side even though Ferrari have put on the hard tyres for Leclerc we're side by side very punchy one how many times have I said that already? And um, we forced Leclerc wide. Sorry, Charles, we are really messing your race about now. But George has overtook him now as well. As we box in at the end of lap 9 to put on the medium compound tyres. And that will take us to the end of the Grand Prix. 12 laps. These mediums have to last. I'm sure hopefully they will on they go then slow slow with the front right there 2.8 though so we'll take it and now back out onto the track and we just need to make sure now that we come out ahead of George so he does get the hammer down and now as we exit Lasors one lap later George is boxed on this lap and look how far back he is he's lost out to Lando and Hamilton the overcut not the way to go and look at the gap we've also pulled on the McLaren as well Lewis Hamilton now on the back of Lando Norris up the inside through around the outside now what a great move by Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris and Lando will not take him very long before he gets eaten up by the other Mercedes of George Russell you can see Hamilton is already on the back of us 
as George gets past then Lando he put up a fight did Lando but it wasn't to be a lap 14 now and Lewis is all over the back of us as we head once again towards Blanchimon now but this time goes to the inside as we run it up and wide Lewis up our inside we hold it round the outside we stay ahead, Lewis now on the back of us, George is slowly starting to catch this battle now as we go wide, London, Lewis tries to swap us to dummy and now look he is right on the back of us now he is George, side by side, Hamilton goes up the inside free, blowing him on, he looks like he's got the job done George though in the background, still trying to find a way through on his teammate but Lewis stays ahead into the bus stop chicane that was we can complete another lap of this great spa circuit we run wide at Pearl one now and Hamilton looks to be free now we force him wide force him wide and George goes good George goes wide we put Hamilton back ahead of his team after we forced George White, George did get past Hamilton there and Hamilton now back on us with just three laps to go we shut the door on Hamilton we are having some very very bruised elbows here in Belgium into the bus stop chicane we've gone deep though, we've gone deep Hamilton now tries to get the exit out of the bus stop wasn't to be Hamilton now on the inside of us we shut the door Go right across him. And now lap 20. This is Hamilton. Hamilton has made a mistake and locked up. And now George has sneaked through. And now George is going for air up on us again there. Through Blanchimon. And now we head towards the bus option again. again. George goes to the outside. He's got a snap in a bit there. He's on the hards. Hamilton now. He's on the mediums. On to the last lap now. And Max Verstappen back to where he belongs it's going to be his first win since Monaco he wins the Belgian Grand Prix but he needs to hurry up because there's a Ferrari of Carlos Sainz who nearly overtook him on the line Max wins so Perez makes it a double podium for Red Bull but who is going to finish P5 Leclerc was P4 it's now side by side Lewis gets ahead of George and we are going to go into the bus stop chicane for the final time come on get the exit the tyres are gone and get our best result as a team and that's the end of the race we'll see you in part Fermi what a great race then and a magnificent victory here at the Belgian Grand Prix what do you think it was Anne that gave them the edge over the competition today I feel like consistency was probably the key today there's being quick being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So that's been your Belgium Grand Prix then won by Max Verstappen he's basically second home Grand Prix before we go to his home Grand Prix in the next episode but sorry Charles we did completely screw his race after putting on pole after the sprint as he finished before in the end Fittipaldi he needs to sort his stuff out I get he's a rookie but come on we are dragging this car into points I think we're meant to have the fifth fourth best car on the grid so he needs to sort it out he needs to get closer to me he's only got eight points to our 31 points 
and we are not that far off Lando Norris I think that has to be the target to catch Lando Norris by the end of the season we are still sixth in the constructors but we are pulling on those behind and we're not that far off McLaren just two points in it now as we go into the Dutch Grand Prix next somehow at Zandvoort and hopefully we can continue this form we this was a great way to bounce back after what happened last time out at Silverstone when we got wiped out by Piastri so it was a good way to bounce back I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in Zandvoort goodbye